This is space. It is vast. It is dark. And it is dangus. Captain Spatula's log. Business has been good this week, but the rare trade loops begin to bore me. The call of exploration compels me to return once more to the cosmos, basking in the glow of trinary star systems spinning through space like ballerinas who have been set on fire and tossed into space. Ammonia worlds with rich creamy browns and swirly clouds, like a bowl of delicious Count Chocula cereal. You want to lick that planet, only it's ammonia so it would actually smell like urine. I linger too long sometimes. An explorer must always stay on the move, like a shark swimming through space. If you stop, you die. If you keep swimming forward, eventually you'll find your prey. And I eat undiscovered planets for breakfast, gorging my sensors with their intricate orbits. I, I sense their round, shapely bodies, so tender. As I voraciously chomp into their mineral composition, I tear the data out, tear it out of their insides, while rolling my eyes back in the head, crossing my head from side to side as I enter a frenzy of feeling. I think the metaphor went too far, but but that that's good. I mean, exploration is about crossing boundaries, uh, seeing what's on the other side. It's only a thousand years ago. The human race could have only dreamed of seeing other planets, racing across alien horizons, chasing brown dwarves, who, you know, just didn't make the cut into the Star Club, marveling at the sight of their rocky rings locked into orbit around a big blob of failure. If only it had tried just a little bit harder. Brace for impact. Ah, oh shit, 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 oh 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 okay. Out in the deepness of space, the Dangus is real. One wrong move and you're out here alone. No place to repair and fuel. And when you spend too much time away from the bubble, space madness sinks in. And that's when you start seeing the ghosts. Now, I know the scientists back home would say otherwise, but the ghosts are real. I've seen them. Off in the distance, that little blue dot. I keep staring at it, and I... I swear it's staring right back. Is it getting bigger? That would be inappropriate. <sighs> that's not what I mean. Look, I've heard rumors about a particularly haunting specter around these parts. Some call it the Ghost of Jupiter. Do you think maybe the Ghost of Jupiter is haunting that blue dot? There is little known about this system. Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. Risk analysis. Unknown. An explorer craves the unknown and accepts the risk because the reward, it's... it's... Oh, wow! That's amazing. Ah! <laughs> Shit, did, did you see that? Did you see what I'm talking about, Nova? Internal sensors suggest that you may be intoxicated. Don't be a party pooper. We just found a real ghost. Just look at this. Everything is doused in, in blue light. That's a Wolf Rayette star, one of the rarest you can find. I just can't help thinking, little old me out here witnessing one of the most beautiful spots in the cosmos. I don't have the words for this kind of thing. Do you need me? I, I remember there was a historical genius from Earth, Stephen Hawking. There was a quote that he had that was perfect for the... the Nova, what was that Stephen Hawking quote again? Stephen Hawking? People won't have time for you if you are always angry or complaining. No, 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 no that, that, that's not the one. Uh, Nova, you better run an internal scan because I, I, I feel like something might be wrong with you. I'm just saying. I've carried out an internal scan. Because for a moment, it did sound like a crying infant was on this ship. Oh wow, burn. Sick, sick burn. Damn. Uh, anyway, um, we're gonna jump to the closest star and see if we can get a good view of this. Uh, oh yeah. No, 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 that, that's what I'm talking about. The ghost of Jupiter in all its glory. A phantom star lurking on the edges of unexplored space, wrapped in its own cloak of blue despair to inspire. Sadness and awe in those who visit. One day, surely humanity will expand here and this will become a tourist attraction. Come see the big blue ghost, they'll say. Buy a selfie drone, they'll say. Fifteen million credits for a bobblehead and a, and a shirt that says, I saw the ghost of Jupiter and all I got was this lousy t-shirt and this bobblehead. Uh, that's what they'll say. But, uh, I'll know. Long before all that, I sat out here found a nice crater ridge on a nearby planet with a nice view of the sky above and I landed my ship and I got into my buggy the only person around for miles and I sat there overlooking the most beautiful sight I had ever seen wonderful and 
And that's when it suddenly occurred to me that the majestic ghost of Jupiter, well, it had kind of a familiar shape. You see, I had just come through the rear end of a gigantic space pussy. Excuse me, cutting communications. Do you think that's a good idea, Captain Spatula? You're an unprecedented joke, the like of which can only be compared to mice and rats. I am designed to recognize psychotic behavior. I could disable life support. Or, a lethal sedative can be administered. Okay, 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 Nova, don't do that. I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, okay? I was just trying to be funny. I don't do funny. Yeah, I can, uh, I can relate to that. Oh my god, I can, I can see right through the planet. It's hollow inside. And look, I could, I could see. I could see. Oh, it's like a one-way mirror. Maybe there, maybe there's like a developer in, in that lives in the planet. Oh, look, there's a grid. What is there a grid? Why is there a grid? I like grids, but oh, the planet is is just a giant wire structure. Oh, maybe we're in the Matrix. I guess it's kind of like the Matrix. It's a video game. This, is, this isn't real life because when I log out, when I log out, uh, I'm not in space. 